My name is Chris Vance. I'm from Bondurant, Iowa. This is uh, No Action Too Small, a mural project commissioned by Metro Waste Authority. Um, the beer can idea is actually a sketch I did about six months ago where um, I was thinking about the show and I don't know, I drink a lot of beer and like 99 cans of beer, on, bottles of beer on the wall, that song. I don't know, for some reason I was like, I wanna push it in a different direction. No matter where I travel to, there's always somebody there that's like talking about their, yeah, you haven't had our beer because this whole microbrew thing is blowing up in this crazy way. And when I first started, I started selling my work for like next to nothing. And if people bought, I was working on paper, so if they wanted to frame it, I'd frame it for the cost of the frame. Which for me, at the time, I was just wanting my aunt, my uncle, anybody to, to purchase the work. I've done a lot of different things with a lot of younger artists, and that's one of the number one questions they have is, how do I price my work? To work yourself into a nice studio, I mean, I know I've had friends that you know ate ramen because they wanted to have a nice studio with nice supplies. It's just all about your like priorities. I always still have a second guess myself with this studio. Like every now and again, I'm like, oh, I probably could still be working out of the basement when I'm working on something. But then two weeks later, like a big project will come along and I'm like, God, I'm glad I have the space. So art is like, for me, is like this journey. And when I was younger, like my work was, was pretty raw. It wasn't as polished. It wasn't, I hadn't quite figured out the materials yet. And I think at that time, I still had people that could see something in it. It's interesting though, because the characters, it started with the abstraction and then it went to the characters and I'm still doing both, but I really feel like the abstract work in my larger pieces is starting to come back into play. So a lot of these were created from like taking paintings and then sanding back through the images that were there. And honestly, this is like this particular piece, you can start to see where the graffiti abstraction has started to influence my work. I've always been into organic shapes, so I don't know if that's part of my, my fascination with it, but, and I'm, you know, I used to skateboard as a kid. You know, my dad wanted me to be a baseball player and I liked riding a skateboard. And then it just kind of, between like seeing some of those graphics and then, you know, going to college thinking I was going to be an architect and then finding out, you know, art was kind of my, it came easy to me and I just understood it. It originally the characters that um, have started to happen started because of sketches that even from when I was a kid, I used to sketch monsters just like every kid does, but now it's almost like I'm taking them to, to this uh, animated level almost where they're sculpted and three-dimensional looking and almost like stickers stuck on artwork. Although they're not, but they're really flat and just stuck right on the image. So that's probably an influence from this, uh, the skateboard graphics. Just riding. I mean, there was a sense of freedom. There was a sense of, you know, creating tricks. It's not, and I think that has led into my art. I mean. You know, that's like just a stain that I had to leave overnight. You know, and you don't just find stuff like that. It, that. Stuff like that has to happen through playing around and not being afraid to make a mistake. And I think growing up skateboarding, that's like a huge thing because even with my son today, he's like, I like skateboarding, Dad, but I don't like getting hurt. You know, so there, when you're riding a skateboard, it, there's, there's that sense of freedom, but yet there's also you know, everybody's been going down that hill super fast and gotten kicked off their board and gotten scraped up. And, and sometimes you make art that, you know, gets scraped up because people don't like it, you know. It's, so it's, it's interesting. 